This is a patient of mesenteric thrombolysis. As you can see here, the history is a 55-year-old male with a history of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, bilateral lung transplant, cirrhosis. He had had a previous episode of portal vein thrombosis. Um, it's labeled as chronic, but it was a cure on chronic, treated with thrombolysis. And he came back in with abdominal pain and had new occlusive thrombus within the spear mesenteric vein um, and the splenic vein. Uh, you can see here uh, the MR, uh, which uh, does in fact show and confirm uh, these findings. Uh, since there was no direct access to this, so we opted uh, to take an approach by which we're going to put catheters in the superior mesenteric artery uh, and in the splenic artery and allow uh, wash through uh, thrombolytics. What you can see here really is us uh, in the hybrid operating room. Uh, in this situation, um, the setup, since we're filming in 360, is you really have virtual vital signs uh, up above us. That's a virtual screen. And looking over to the right, this is actually a, a real screen that you're looking at. Um, in this presentation, we choose to highlight this, and you get, you get a better picture of it. Now you can see the catheters um, are being passed up into the, the aorta. Um, and here we're actually catheterizing uh, what looks like the severe mesenteric artery. Uh, most of this can be done, really, without doing a, an actual aortogram. Uh, we'll obviously confirm uh, that this is indeed uh, the location uh, for this catheter. So here you can see this is a, um, in fact, looks like we're uh, probably in the renal artery. Uh, so we're going to actually reposition this. <clears throat> and you can see we've pushed this back out of the renal artery. Uh, we're going to let the catheter reform. Um, this is a C2 catheter we're actually utilizing. Uh, there are two wires up the aorta. Uh, move the catheter superiorly, rotate anteriorly, and see if we can get into uh, the superior mesenteric artery or the celiac artery. And you can hear us talking in the background. Um, once it, now we actually looks like we've uh, catheterized the real superior mesenteric artery. Uh, the catheter was advanced over the wire. And we confirm it by puffing in some dye, make sure we're in one of the branches of the SMA. And once we've done that, uh, they, then we'll advance uh, a, a, typically we use a mucin catheter, you can use an end hole catheter, <clears throat> and infuse through the end of the catheter. And that's what we did in this particular case. Uh, these lytic therapy catheters typically with multiple infusion sites are used when you're actually embedded inside the thrombus. But here we're actually depending on flow to actually wash it through. And it's important um, that you get um, this uh, placed deep enough into the SMA uh, so that it doesn't displace uh, either during the placement of the secondary catheter or into the um, or when we're actually transporting the patient. <clears throat> and you can see that we've punctured this is going in through the uh, left femoral artery. Now we're actually taking the secondary catheter. We're looking for the the uh, celiac. Um, we know from the pre-op uh, MRA, roughly what the angle needed to lay out the splenic artery. And here we're moving the image intensifier into that position. So now we've catheterized the uh, celiac artery. And it's just a matter of rotating the catheter, advancing the wire, and getting into the, um, into the splenic artery. And again, the, the classic feature of the splenic artery is the tortuosity as it goes to that left upper quadrant. And so here now we're advancing that catheter into the splenic artery. And once you've done this, the case is uh, almost over, uh, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's then a matter of uh, confirming the presence in the, in the splenic artery, although you're pretty sure, just based upon that wire, uh, what exactly is going on here. Uh, and then it's important uh, that we typically use sturdy strips to anchor these catheters um, onto the sheaths, the sheaths of which are sewn onto the patient. And, and we'll make a loop in the catheters, cover them up with um, tegaderm or something such as that to make sure that nothing gets displaced uh, during transportation because that's a disaster. It means you've got to come back and, and start all over again. So the catheters are now positioned in the splenic artery and into the spear mesenteric artery. We're shooting both of these using a hand injection of dye at the same time. 
Um, we will then hook that up to an infusion uh, catheter, in which we're, we usually give uh, you know, a milligram per hour. Uh, we mix these up in about um, each of the infusions. Uh, we're going to split it half a milligram to each catheter, and each half milligram will be in approximately 30 to 40 cc's of saline.